welcome to a terrifying review for Unhallowed Ground, which is a 2015 British haunted house movie. Now this movie focuses on six young cadets as they are tasked with guarding a well-to-do military school for basically just an exercise. So they don't think anything's going to happen. They think their commanding officer is going to be playing some kind of pranks on them to try and sort of test them and see what they're doing. And of course, these guys being young kids are getting all, all kind of shenanigans that they shouldn't be doing. However, this happens to fall on the anniversary, the 350 anniversary of something dastardly and deadly that happened in the school, obviously, all of that time ago. On top of that, we have the added threat of two burglars who decide to break into the school and steal some stuff on that very night. So basically what you have here, you have these kind of bunch of kids, they're fending off burglars, they're fending off ghosts, and they're also fending off a demonic presence. The actual uh, the threat here is the main threat at least, is this kind of demonic presence. There's kind of three things, the ghosts and the kind of the demonic stuff, they're kind of separate. So there's a whole lot going on in this movie. Now I have to say, this is one film where I actually found it better after I completely finished watching it and I kind of looked back and I thought actually it wasn't actually that bad. Although whilst I was watching it I found it kind of dragged in certain places. So let's kind of go through the good and the bad. So the bad first of all. Now there are a mixed bag in regards to special effects here. The actual demonic presence that we see pops up throughout the film. And I have to say there are some shots here that look extremely weak, which is done kind of with a mix of kind of green screen and kind of CGI. And unfortunately, it kind of looks quite poor, certainly in the kind of the more well-lit areas uh, of this movie. So unfortunately, the effects are a bit of a mixed bag. There are some decent effects to what I come on to. The other thing here is that this movie kind of, for a lot of the period within this film, certainly the kind of the... The, kind of the, the third, the second act, I would say, is just kids running from one room to another, and that's pretty much all they're doing. Uh, so I felt like obviously your your kind of first act is kind of setting up the characters and all the story here. The third act is essentially the, the kind of climax, and like everything's kind of explained. But the second act is kind of poor because all we see is these kids screaming and running from one building to another, rinse and repeat. So the second act for me was kind of quite poor and quite bland. But like I said. That's kind of why I appreciated the, the movie more as a whole in the end, because you kind of, you sort of look at the whole package. So actually, they have quite a lot going on in it. The acting, too, is a little bit of a mixed bag. There are some fairly good performances here, I have to say, but there are also some kind of ones that fall a little flat as well, and kind of air on the sort of side of cheesy and kind of the dialogue as well sometimes. Not so good. Now, let's talk about the positives. It's really a dichotomy because although there are some poor aspects, there are some good aspects in the same thing. So some of the effects, uh, although the demonic effects I didn't think looked pretty good, the actual spirits themselves, who you don't see a lot of to be fair, but when we do see them, uh, they kind of look, they're kind of in the background behind, behind characters in certain scenes. Again, you could argue it's a little bit cliche, to be honest with you, but they kind of look quite cool. And they kind of got glowing eyes and then it kind of looks, it looks kind of fun. So I quite liked the, uh, the kind of the ghostly effects here. It actually has quite a good sense of humour as well. There's some, there's some jokes going on in the movie and I actually thought a lot of the jokes actually hit quite well. And it's a little bit self-referential at times. Uh, not to the point where I would say it's meta, but it, it kind of touches on it a little bit, which I thought was kind of quite good for a kind of a, a more of a, a kind of a B-movie uh, type of film, which kind of tends to be more or less just play them straight. So that was kind of quite cool. Uh, there's a quite nice, uh, diverse group of characters, but you, at the same time, you felt like they kind of uh, seemed like they were kind of genuinely get on, and they weren't. There wasn't one person who stuck out like a, a sore thumb, who you felt like, oh, this this person really doesn't belong in in this um, particular group. Now, I will say that obviously these these guys are meant to be military here, and some of the kind of the female cadets here, you probably could argue were a little bit too made up for probably what they would be uh, in a kind of in, in an exercise and stuff like that. But obviously we're talking uh, a movie rather than realism here. It's certainly a, a B-movie horror film. So like I said, it does actually have a twist to this film. Um, it does have some cliches. There is a little bit of a twist to this film, but I felt it kind of, it kind of although it came out of nowhere, it wasn't so bad, it was jarring. 
But when you look back at this film, you actually, actually there, there's quite a lot involved here. You've got you know various different kind of things going on. You've got burglars. You've got this kind of demonic uh, sort of thread that's kind of go through it. The, the kind of plague stuff has less to do with it than I thought. Uh, the kind of the main antagonist is this kind of plague doctor with the kind of uh, the long nosed mast. He's not as much as a, as a presence as I thought, but nevertheless, there's quite a lot of threats. You've got him. You've got the ghosts. There's quite a lot to this film. So I actually felt this was an okay B movie and probably worth a watch if you kind of like your haunted house films and stuff like that. It's not massively scary, it's not massively gory, but it was a it was a serviceable B movie haunted house film. So with that I am gonna give it a five out of ten. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.